Benton County Sheriff's Office tonight taking action after an inmate died in this jail cell. Family members say it was filled with bed bugs. Atlanta News First reporter Chelsea Bynford, she joins us live from outside the Fulton County Jail. Chelsea, big changes on the way for some of those inmates tonight. They are, and that inmate's death is still under investigation tonight. But in the meantime, Fulton County Sheriff Pat Labatt has carved out a large chunk of money to move some of these uh, inmates out and to help clean up the inside of this jail. These are deplorable, horrible conditions that our citizens do not deserve. This week, an attorney representing the family of LaShawn Thompson released these disturbing photos. They appear to show the 35-year-old covered in sores, which his lawyer attributes to bed bugs. Thompson was found dead in his cell at the Fulton County Jail last September, three months after his arrest for misdemeanor battery. In response to this investigation, Fulton County Sheriff Pat Labatt said on Friday, more than 600 inmates have already been moved to the Cobb, Forsyth, and Oconee County Jails and the Atlanta City Detention Center to cut down on overcrowding. He also approved $500,000 in funding to help clean the jail and add additional staff members to the mental health unit. Still, Sheriff Labatt continues calling for a new jail altogether, saying it's no secret that the dilapidated and rapidly eroding conditions of the current facility make it incredibly difficult to meet the goal of providing a safe, clean, well-maintained and healthy environment for all inmates and staff. I'm not convinced that we need a new jail. Chairman of the Fulton County Board of Commissioners Rob Pitt says a recent study from an external consulting firm revealed a new jail would cost approximately two billion dollars to construct. He thinks the county would be better off renovating the current space and hiring more deputies. District 5 Commissioner Marvin Arrington disagrees, saying in part, unfortunately, our jail is overcrowded and renovations will not create the additional space that we need. And Fulton County Commissioners will meet next week to discuss the results of that jail study and how they'll move forward. Reporting live in Fulton County tonight, Chelsea Bime for Atlanta News First.